when you take a cruise, your vacation is about the journey and the destination. That's why the beauty of every place and the oceans you explore is at the heart of every Royal Caribbean cruise. The cruise line has spent decades innovating technologies and practices to keep every destination, shore and sea, just as beautiful for the next generation of family vacations. And on this episode of Making an Icon, we're diving into all that and what it takes to make Icon of the Seas Royal Caribbean's most sustainable ship yet. We have a responsibility to our planet to continue to evolve and get our ships to be as sustainable as they possibly can be. And so for us, it's not just to go out and deliver the best vacations in the world, but we need to make sure we're doing that on a responsible basis. The mantra's always been, how do we become better? Icon is the culmination of that. Everything we've learned over the time from energy efficiencies, waste handling techniques, all that is kind of culminated here of developing a platform that allows us to try new things and also still make sure that we're still delivering the best vacation possible. And it's not just in the engine room and the fuel that we're burning, but it's just in how we're producing water, how we're utilizing water, how we're better using the waste that is already produced on board to help power other things. Like every Royal Caribbean ship, there are several environmentally friendly features and programs working together on ICON. Some that you can see every day and others behind the scenes. A big part of that is energy and all the ways it's created, conserved and repurposed. The engineers and naval architects consider everything from large scale systems to the smallest detail. Think LED light bulbs, specialized paint on the ship's hull, and the new fuels that power it all, including liquefied natural gas. Several years ago, we had communicated our ambition to be net zero, which basically means not producing carbon when we're operating our ships. We also talked about being able to produce a net zero ship by 2035. ICON plays an important part of that because a lot of that technology that we need to have on that ship to get produced in 2035 is beginning to build itself on ICON. You have to kind of skate to the puck with this technology and you have to be able to put the technology on the ship and grow it and test it and then find ways to scale it. The reality is we need alternative fuels and you need to invest in technology, green technology and transitional technology like LNG in order to be able to begin to do that. ICON will be the first Royal Caribbean ship to use the LNG fuel. And as a general rule of thumb, just the simple use of LNG versus traditional fuel oil is around 30% better in terms of energy and its footprint. So that's a big step forward. We like to keep our options open so that when that next big fuel comes in, we're able to drop it into our existing fleet and use it on all of our new ships and existing ships in the future. ICON is built in such a way that it will be able to adapt with the times. The other thing that ICON is going to have is a hybrid fuel cell, which will help power some of the ship. When they convert fuel into energy, there are no pollutants in the exhaust. All we get out is H2O, water vapor, and CO2, depending on the fuel source. We also have potential to get maybe even more energy efficiency out of fuel cells if we find the right way to apply them to the shipboard environment. There is no fuel cell technology capable of managing the energy requirements of full ships today. And so we're very much involved with manufacturing that space to create prototype fuel cells Fuel cells, those are just like any other battery pack that you kind of put in your in your laptop or in your mobile phone. A lot of car companies have actually uh, powered their cars using the fuel cell technology. We've also then taken some of the most advanced heat recovery systems. So the heat that's generated from our engines, we're able to capture and reuse that energy and put it to good use on board. We also take advantage of low temperatures of our LNG fuel and recover that cold to use that to improve the efficiency of our cooling systems. We started working on underwater grooming. Robotic grooming is essentially where you are constantly maintaining a ship's hull devoid of any slime or algae which can 
further give you know an opportunity for the microorganism growth to happen. You have a filtration system, then lets the water kind of goes into the sea, but the rest of the debris is then kind of stored up. It's like you know your Roomba at home. Whenever you find you know dirt at your home, you press a button and the Roomba kind of goes around and cleans. The first of its kind vacation is also shore power ready. What that means is, if a destination has the setup needed, ICON can plug into the local power grid. This replaces the need to use fuel every time the ship is in town. In fact, ICON will be one of the first to connect at its home in Miami. Next up is waste, or in other words, trash. Keeping solid waste out of the ocean and landfills is a journey Royal Caribbean started more than 30 years ago with its Save the Waves program. Every ship is equipped to be landfill free so that waste can be reused, recycled, and even repurposed into energy. A new innovative technology will debut on ICON2. It's called a MAP system which will essentially be the first waste to energy plant at sea. MAPS is a latest and greatest in waste management. And we have a long history of waste management systems like MAPS that take the waste and they use different thermal processes for fuel on board. Green Hubs are our partnership with local ports to where we set out on a mission to make sure that no waste goes to a landfill ever. So being able to partner with those local ports across the globe, it allowed us to expand what we did on board and make sure that all the waste that we're sorting is handled in the right manner when it actually goes off and make sure that it's either recycled, reused, repurposed, or as a last fast it goes to waste to energy facility. In 2019, we launched a project called Win on Waste. We have a team member on board every one of our ships that's called the Food Operations Excellence Control. And their job is to really think about and help manage the processes to reduce our food waste, which is a win-win for our business, but as well as for our guests and our employees. In 2022 alone, we reduced our, our waste by over 24%. That's solid waste produced on the ship simply from managing our food to this revolutionary technology. Now we've come to water. When it comes to ICON, there's more water than ever before. Because that's what vacationers are looking for. More connections to the ocean. There are seven pools, nine whirlpools, six record-breaking water slides at the largest water park at sea, and more. With the latest of the state-of-the-art systems on Royal Caribbean ships, ICON will produce 93% of that fresh water all by itself. So we're very excited about ICON's recreational water facilities. Seven pools across five decks, six water slides. That means a heck of a lot of water. One of the big pieces is really that recreational water production. ICON's going to be outfitted with bigger systems, both evaporators and reverse osmosis systems than what we've seen previously to be able to support all of this recreational water. From cleaner fuels to all new technologies to manage waste, ICON is the culmination of decades of research and innovation. And it's the next step in Royal Caribbean's ongoing journey to create the ultimate vacation for millions of families and adventurers for many years to come. When we designed Icon of the Seas, there are a series of elements that make this ship the most sustainable ship in the brand. And it's in our mission and our purpose to continue to build the ships to be more sustainable. And we're able to do that by continuing to push technology, push innovation to the point in which our ships become more and more efficient. Being able to ensure that we're delivering vacations in the most responsible way possibly is a really core part of the way that we work. We need to do everything in our power to ensure that we are minimizing our impact to the communities and the environment that we're operating in and around. We're planning now for ships that are five, six, seven years away. When we started planning for ICON, a lot of the things that we thought we wanted to do, the technology didn't even maybe exist at the time, or certainly didn't exist on the scale that we needed to. 
One of the beauties of the new build process and having our marine and our energy management teams all in partnership throughout this journey is that we have these continuous conversations on you know new technologies that are coming out, pushing the envelope to continue to drive to get more sustainable. ICON is another step forward in terms of the overall focus of the company in terms of carbon net zero as we look into the next few decades. There's a lot more to look forward to in the coming months as we get closer to ICON's debut in January 2024. So stay tuned for the next episode of Making an Icon.